Greeting. I am Dr. G, and I am with the Center for Culturally Responsive Teaching and Learning as a lead coach. And today, for Talk About It Tuesday, I'd like to talk about one of the 16 cultural behaviors, orality and verbal expressiveness right? I give you an example. I was listening to a radio podcast the other day uh, about rapper, um, pioneer, uh, actor, and um, he's just all over the place at this time. But in my day, he was rapper LL Cool J, okay? James Todd, if you know him by James Todd, but I think most of us know him as LL Cool J. <laughs> and what he was sharing was he had a particular teacher uh, when he was in middle school that would allow him, upon finishing his work, to perform various raps for the class. The class loved it. They always wanted him to perform. He was always performing anyway, <laughs> right? Through what? His orality and how he verbally expressed himself. Sometimes he would just bust a rhyme, you know, when he was asking for something or when he was giving an answer, right? So he was very creative in that way. And so his teacher allowed him she validated and affirmed that in him by saying, hey, first, listen, if you complete the assignment, if the class completes the assignment, then I will allow you to show up and do a rap for us, to, you know, to perform for us. And the question becomes, how do we vab our students and their orality and verbal expressiveness in our virtual classroom space, right? Because we're online now, this is what we're faced with. So how do we continue to vab our students and their verbal expressiveness? Well, for my teachers who are creating pre-recorded videos, you simply want to make sure that you allow your own verbal expressiveness to come out, right? You don't want to suppress that and become so standard. So let it flow. Use your vivid expression, your eyes, your smiling, right? Your facial expressions that show emotion and passion. Be sure that your voice tone is also communi communicating emotion, passion, importance, right? Because this way you model for your students that it is okay to do that. It's okay to be safe in this environment and show up however you are and in your most verbal expressive way. For my teachers who are creating live meetings with your students, right? So you're meeting them in your Google Meets or your Zoom classroom. You want to simply encourage students to use vivid expression in all of their responses. Let them know that it's okay to do so. And if they see you doing it, you best believe they will feel safe to show up themselves in that way, right? So remember to remind them to use their eyes and their mouth, right? Their smiling, their facial expressions to show emotion and passion. If it's a happy response, then allow them to be happy and encourage them to be happy in their expressions, okay? Don't forget their voice tone. Voice is a really clear way of communicating verbal expressiveness. So again, if the students are feeling happy, their voice should exude happiness. If it's sad or fear, then their voices should be allowed to exhibit such. And you as the teacher, you simply want to encourage them to do so, right? Require them also to perhaps show up at times using nonverbal expressions, right? Using, again, their facial expressions um, and their um, different hand expressions, whatever it is that they would normally do themselves to show up in a verbally expressive way. This is how you can bath your students in the virtual classroom space. And for my parents,
as you are working with your children at home uh, during this time, just remember to let them be who they are. Typically, our cultural behaviors come out most when we are in a comfortable space, like at home. So allow them to be their most creative selves, even when you're working with them, you know, around their schoolwork. Allow them to perform. Allow them to be, you know, dramatic in their responses. Allow them to act it out, um, if you will. Because again, we want to validate and affirm who they naturally are, who they culturally are. So when you're working with your children at home, parents, feel free to let them be who they are, um, even as you work with them in their schoolwork. For more about the 16 cultural behaviors and validating, affirming, building, bridging our students, I suggest you go to the culturallyresponsive.org website. We are also on IG um, at Validate Affirm um, and check us out, do some research. We would love all of our educators, all of our teachers across the nation and the world to be a part of VAB Nation. Thank you so much. I'm Dr. G and I'm out. Peace.